US fashion model Slick Woods just sent Rihanna a gorgeous thank you letter championing Fenty Beauty's inclusivity. Rihanna's celebrating her company's first year anniversary as October's Allure cover star with a dazzling pictorial that's accompanied by five thank you letters from fans of the brand, including Slick Woods, Ashley C. Ford, and makeup superstar Cindy Watson. Slick shared a throwback of the guy's first meet and said, I always thought your shit was made for me and I wanted nothing more than to model for you. So hearing that I was cast in your show had me ecstatic. That you continued to use me was just surreal. Business turned family real quick. She then thanked Rihanna for making inclusivity cool and called her approach to beauty inclusivity revolutionary. Now people are putting money toward inclusion rather than putting money toward a certain supremacy. It's a beautiful switch in pace. This comes just days after Slick apparently went into labor following Rihanna's savage ex Fenty New York Fashion Week show. It apparently happened immediately after Slick stepped off the runway. Congratulations, baby mama. We can't wait for the snaps. Sesame Street's Bert and Ernie are gay. Yes! But also, they're not. A Sesame Street writer has outed the iconic roommates as a gay couple, but the Sesame Workshop have denied it, issuing a statement saying that they remain puppets and do not have a sexual orientation. Oh, sure. So how come Miss Piggy and Kermit are getting jiggy? Hey? 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 Let's circle back. This all started when Sesame Street writer Mark Saltzman told Queerty that he wrote Bert and Ernie as a gay couple. I always felt that without a huge agenda, when I was writing Bert and Ernie, they were a couple. I don't think I'd know how else to write them but as a loving couple. The internet was like, yay, we made a new flag, but then the Sesame Workshop reissued a statement saying, as we have always said, Bert and Ernie are best friends. They were created to teach preschoolers that people can be good friends with those who are very different from themselves. Even though they are identified as male and have many human traits, they remain puppets and do not have a sexual orientation. Puppeteer Frank Oz then hit Twitter to deny the news too. And listen, Frank knows Bert and Ernie very well because he's been inside them. It seems Mr. Mark Saltzman was asked if Bert and Ernie are gay. It's fine that he feels they are. They're not, of course. But why that question? Does it really matter? Why the need to define people as only gay? There's much more to a human being than just straightness or gayness. Well, Frank, that's true. I mean, I am much more than my rainbow flag and obsession with Cher. But listen, if we're not visible as a community, then we're basically erased. And equality doesn't exist without representation. And if it doesn't matter, why do you need to release a statement saying that they're not gay? Maybe they're just puppets, but maybe we should let them live. Kylie Jenner has lied to us all. Contrary to a recent tweet, she has, in fact, had milk with cereal. She has had milk with cereal and there is photographic evidence. She is a cereal liar. I'm sorry fire me. Recap. Recently Kylie tweeted, last night I had cereal with milk for the first time. Life changing. Because 2018 is the new year of like realizing stuff. Following Kylie's confession, people were understandably shook. Drag Race alumni Tatiana noted the star's considerable selling power, saying, well what the f*** you been doing? Now watch milk and cereal start flying off the shelves. Seth Rogen, however, was keen to introduce her to the world of basic breakfast she's been missing out on, saying, wait till you try peanut butter and jam. Others saw it as a metaphor for the striking wealth disparity plaguing modern capitalist society. As one Twitter user asked, what in the f*** do rich people eat? Turns out they still eat cereal, but they eat it dry. Kylie later tweeted, I always liked cereal dry. I never bothered to put milk. Now someone's done some light internet sleuthing and dragged up a picture from April 25th, 2013, which shows a picture of some cereal, two strawberries, some blueberries, and closer, look closer. Is that milk? There is definitely a white milky substance underneath the crusty brown flakes. It definitely looks like milk. However, there is a slight chance it could be something else. It could be yogurt. It could be the corn flour and water mix you make to add to thicken a gravy. It probably isn't, but it could be. Machine Gun Kelly has hit back at Eminem's dedicated diss track Kill Shot as the kamikaze effect continues. What's actually going on with these two? Let's break it down. The feud between the two rappers goes as far back as 2012 when Kelly tweeted that M's daughter, Hailey Jade, was hot as f 
Now Eminem's latest album release, Kamikaze, has exploded onto the music scene, topping the charts. But the surge of disses across the collection of songs is what has got everybody on their feet. The one that stands out is Eminem's Shade on MGK, featured on the track Not Alike. MGK of course responded, dropping a diss track for M called Rap Devil, a shot at M's rap god. Claiming that M tried to sabotage his career early on, he then tweeted, I'm standing up for not just myself, but my generation. I'm doing the same you did back in your day, life is still real on my side and I had to take time from the grind to defend myself from someone I called an idol. Eminem's response, a relaxing game of Pac-Man on Insta Live, rapping his way through the arcade game but fans couldn't quite make out the lyrics. Pac-Man, MGK tattoo. Pac-Man, MGK tattoo. See where we're going here. Fans, including myself, were refreshing the timeline in excitement, but what was the real reason he was sending for MGK? In a recent interview with Sway Calloway, he said, You know you go down the wormhole of YouTube and whatever, right? <laughs> so I see Machine Gun Kelly talks about Eminem's daughter, whatever, right? So what the f Click on it. Like, yo, why is he? I'm like, what the f Yo, my man better yeah. chill, right? So... That's not why I dissed him. The reason I dissed him is actually a lot more petty than that. Eminem dissed MGK over claims that M had him blacklisted. First he said, first, first when he said, I, I'm, a, I'm the greatest rapper alive since my favorite rapper banned me from Shade 45 or whatever he said, right? Like I'm trying to hinder his career. So I can about your career. You think I actually think about you? You know how many rappers that are, are better than you? You're not even in the conversation. Then came the question, when will Eminem bite back? M said, I want to destroy him, but I also don't want to make him bigger. After patiently waiting, Eminem released diss track, Killshot. How are you gonna name yourself after a damn gun and rock a man bun? Feel like I'm babysitting little Tay and had to give you a career to destroy it. Of course, Kelly responded. This time with a post on Twitter tweeting, two weeks and three interviews later. Hashtag leg shot, hashtag let's talk about it. Referring to how long it had taken for the diss track to be released. Fans' reaction on Twitter has gone into meltdown, appreciating that Eminem may just be the greatest rapper of all time. MGK has announced a new EP on the way, but will there be any tracks aimed at Eminem? We will have to wait patiently to find out.